there's definite a huge increase in variety um much more interesting wines um this would not be a struggle to bring into our group um and uh, i can't see that anyone any one of us who are all professionals would be happy to get behind these wines and bring them to our our drinking partners yeah 100%. yeah i mean nicholas you mentioned uh, you don't have a carver on the list but any any uh, inspiration here to perhaps have have a couple or yeah without a doubt you know i'm i'm already an advocate um for carver personally it's just about finding this the the supply and the right supplier for that the right importer um mm. You know, sort of opening my eyes on Durello, the two, these two different styles side by side, the sort of more trendy kind of reduction vibe to this one. And this is slightly, slightly more lush and giving. I think there's a point there to, you know, hone in on those sort of indigenous grape varieties, whether they're contested indigenous or not. Um, and you know, I think that's 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 a point of interest for me personally, maybe on the more sort of geeky wine side of things, the more sort of hipster wine bar side of things. You see a lot of Girello done in, in orange styles in different styles of still wines as well. Um, and I think it's kind of a catchy word that people could could jump onto. Um, and it really sings true. You know, you've got one great variety from, you know, this single place and it can express itself in a number of different ways. So I think as a variety comes, it's got a lot of flex behind it. Maybe not Macaboo as much. Um, it's kind of difficult to make incredible still wines out of it, but you can make quality volume out of the great variety. Um, but yeah, they, those two are the standout for me. Um, I think, yeah, the super interesting is, is the style. 